Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Uh, we are back. I'm going to get into Brandon Figueroa and Jesse Magdaleno um, in undercard fight on the Canelo Munguia card. I'm excited to get into this one. This is, is, is good money to make. Oh. Good money to make on this one, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, sorry. We make money every single week. Um, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. We do. I do. I make money every week betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. You can also find it in the banner below. Uh, join the Patreon. Five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. Uh, get to ask the bookie anything. Ask me a handicap fight, break down a fight. I'll do it for you. You get a ton of perks. It's five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. So your show your support for uh, losing my brain here. Show your support for, uh, for three D boxing. Join the Patreon. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. All right, Brandon Figueroa. Uh, I mean, this fight kind of is what it is. Brandon Figueroa. We all know who, who he is and what he's about. Long bantamweight, super bantamweight, featherweight now. Right, just a long guy gets in your grill. He throws a hundred punches around. Is on your chest, pounding away. You know he's huge for the weight class. He keeps coming forward. Tons of punches, just punches and bunches. He switches back and forth between angle to angle. He's got the head movement. He can make you miss a little bit on the inside. Although obviously his offense is his defense. His offense is his punch volume. His stamina is, is phenomenal. He digs to the body. Great body puncher. Just can't get you off of him. You just can't move him. You get off of him, he's right back on you in your chest, pounding away. He swings wildly sometimes. He's, he, but he's a lot to deal with because of his size. He's, he's easy to hit. And he's got the little head movement. But you can go to his body. You can chop him down. But he just keeps coming and coming and coming. He's, he's a difficult guy. He's got good timing. He throws from all angles. He's got the, the uppercuts on the inside. He's got good power, you know, for what it is. You know, he's not really loading up on stuff. It's 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 short and it's tight, but it, it, there's plenty of snap on it. He's just relentless. That's what it is. If you can describe Brandon Figueroa, he's just relentless. He's unorthodox, unconventional, head movement, swarming, swarming, punching, and just in your chest on top of you, pounding away. You know, he ducks shots. That's pretty much, you know, and his offense is his defense. His, his best defense is throwing a lot of punches and staying on you and his endurance. His, he doesn't really tire. He keeps throwing shots. It's tough. It's tough to deal with. Jesse Magdaleno. Basic. He can come forward. He can go backwards. He's, he's got some skills. He's just not really high level in anything that he does. He has some lateral movement. He's got a good jab. He, he slips out his jab a little bit. He's got, you know, a decent jab, above average jab. Doesn't really want to sit in exchange. He wants he wants to be on the back foot. What he is is a back foot fighter. He's going to have to be a back foot fighter, but it's not really going to work, right? He's going to be getting battered against the ropes. He's not hyper-athletic. He's not fast. He can't really use the ring. And Brandon Figueroa can cut the ring off with the best of him because of his size and his, and his length. This... Magdaleno's just in a tough spot in this fight. He's going to try to jab. He's going to try to move. He's going to, but he's not going to be able to get away from him. And Figueroa is going to, is going to, for what he is, right? I'm not saying Magdaleno's the slowest guy. For a guy who wants to move up the back foot, who wants to use the ring, he's slow. For what he is, he's slow. He's got pretty good timing. He's a pretty decent counter puncher. There's just, I don't see anything that he does and I know he's got wins, and I know he's held the world high. I don't see anything he does at, at this high level where he can compete with Brandon Figueroa. He leaves himself wide open a lot. He lunges in sometimes. Like, he does some bad things. 
He can get caught. He can be tagged. And he wants to be on the back foot. And he doesn't have a lot of pop. He's not a big hitter. So he's not going to knock you out. He, he's not really going to sit there and make you miss and move and, and outbox you and work. At, he, it's not really what he is. He's not a bad fighter. He's a pretty good fighter. It's just at this level. He, he's not a big hitter. He's kind of slow. What does he do good enough to beat fighters at this level? And the, the answer is ultimately nothing. He really doesn't do anything good enough to beat a guy like Brandon Figueroa. So obviously I've, I've tipped my hand. Let's Let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're going to make money on this one. And I got the wrong fight pulled up, of course. Guys, join the Patreon. I will show you how to make money on every single fight. Let's find this fight. There it is. So, minus 1,400. And we're going to take Brandon Figueroa. By KO, TKO, and stoppage. We're going to put a one times bet on both. $200 bet is going to make us $43.50, we'll call it. Is that uh, about, yeah, about $43.50 on a $200 bet? Uh, we're going to bring those odds all the way down. We're going to put a one times bet on Brandon Figueroa on the money line, and we're going to put a one times bet on Brandon Figueroa by KO, TKO, and DQ. It's going to be one times bet at Brandon Figueroa at minus 1400. And it's going to be Brandon Figueroa at minus 275 uh, by stoppage. I'm fairly confident in the stoppage. If we miss that, we can hedge back some of our money. I don't foresee that happening. You could even put a, a one times bet on this. This is a, a pretty tailor made fight for Brandon Figueroa. Magdaleno's kind of tailor-made. He's, he's not going to be much of a challenge for Mag, uh, for Figueroa. Magdaleno's really got no chance of winning this fight. There's really no path to victory. He's not going to be able to move and box and get away from him. He's not going to be able to out-jab him, really, because Figueroa's going to close the distance. Figueroa's longer. It's just There's nothing really. He's going to be in the ropes getting battered from the middle round. If it gets to the middle rounds on... And I say probably, you know, the over under is eight and a half. I like that. I say about eight or ninth round knockout from, from Brandon Figueroa. Um, so that, that's where I'm at on that. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Book in all forms of social media. The Boxing Book comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Jo join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Just five dollars a month to get you all the perks. The, the, the lock of the week, the free t-shirt, ask the book getting all the all the great perks. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. It is May 3rd, um, 2023. From, it's May 3rd, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the